Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Kyle Rust here. This is video number three of Breathing Fundamentals. This stuff I'm about to share here is a game changer. Now, I've previously only shared this with my paid clients. However, this year I've set a goal. I want to help 1,000 surfers double the amount of waves they're catching per session. And the only way to do that is to share the best stuff that I got. So here it is. This is going to be a quick video. I'm going to do a quick explanation, then just a quick demonstration, and you'll have the power to use this yourself. This is called SHARP Breathing. SHARP is an acronym. It stands for Stressed Hold and Recover Prone. So you're going to hold your breath under stress, and you're going to recover prone laying on your stomach. Here's a little rundown of how that's going to look. So you're going to add a few different kinds of stress like we talked about. We're going to have stress breath, stress muscles, and we're going to have an environmental stress with balance, and then you're also going to be holding your breath and recover prone all that means is laying face down on your belly taking your recovery breaths while your pressure's on your diaphragm now there's three variables in here that adjust the difficulty and the effectiveness of it so we're going to do push-ups before you do your breath holds that way you're making sure that you're burnt out then you're going to hold your breath for a fixed amount of time and you want to play with this i usually do it for 20 seconds sometimes longer not usually less than 20 seconds and then you want to have a fixed amount of recovery breaths i always choose three so those are the things that you can switch up and play with depending on uh, the level of difficulty or the level of your um, breath fitness is going to be so that's enough explanation i'll explain it a little better in the demonstration show you exactly how to do it and how you can use it every single day all right i'm going to demonstrate the sharp breath holding technique so the types of stress that we're going to add is we're going to have tired muscles and tired cardio because you do this after a workout so whatever work you're doing after your set is done and your muscles and your cardio are tired then you go into this hold we're also going to add flexed muscles and um, balance so that's four things so i'll show you exactly how i do it so i whatever work i'm doing after i finish a set and i'm totally burnt out i'll do 10 push-ups so to make sure my arms are totally burnt out and then I'll hold my breath in a flex position. Like a the, I do a plank like this and it's important to do it for a fixed amount of time. I usually choose 20 seconds. So 10 push ups, 20 seconds of breath holding. And then, so the important thing to do here is you want to flip the switch. So you want to go from a peak state. So you're working out, you got adrenaline, your heart's pumping. You want to switch it as quick as you can to be as calm as you can under stress. So this simulates obviously real situations in the water. So you want to go to a calm state as quickly as possible. It's going to allow you to hold your breath under stress a lot more. And then, so the, the, ne then the next side is the recover prone. So that just means recovering face down. Well, in previous videos, we talked about how you want to breathe in through your diaphragm. This is going to be super important to do these conscious diaphragm breaths. So then you do a fixed number of recovery breaths and I put my hands on my head so you're not touching. So all that weight is on your diaphragm. Take three breaths in, three recovery breaths and then go back into the stress. So I do 10 more push ups, hold like this for 20 seconds with my breath held and then breathe in three breaths. Then 10 push ups, hold for 20 seconds, three breaths and then when you're tired, that's going to burn you up. That's really going to uh, put a lot of stress on your breath. And you pop back up and get to your next workout. So that way you have low amounts of oxygen and you're working out while you have low oxygen. So you have to recover while you're expending energy. That is so, so valuable. Just like when you're paddling out, you gotta paddle, you gotta duck dive, you're caught inside, you're holding your breath, you're tired, still gotta paddle. So that's gonna teach you to be able to recruit power and endurance while you have low levels of oxygen. That's what oxygen efficiency is. So it's gonna adapt your body to be able to perform with low levels of oxygen and high levels of CO2, and that is super valuable. So just to recap again, you wanna do a fixed number of push-ups, I choose 10, a fixed um, breath hold time, I choose 20 seconds mostly, and then a fixed number of recovery breaths. Usually I choose three, but you can play with those numbers. And this is a place where you really wanna push yourself because it's a safe environment. You really wanna stretch your breath, you really wanna stretch your muscles, you really wanna be forced to recover on low levels of oxygen. So, so valuable. This covers all those breathing fundamentals I talked about in one simple workout. Sharp breathing, this stuff is a game changer. Make sure you add it to every single workout and you will never be the same person again. You'll be able to surf longer, recruit more power, recover faster, and ultimately catch tons and tons of more waves. My name is Kyle Russ. This is the Sharp Breathing Technique for Hydro Mind. Thanks a lot for watching.